Hi guys, I recently had my Acer Iconia W4820. The touch screen stopped working on it. What I'm going to do here is show you what to do and you may possibly get yours working if you're having the same problem. Uh, first I removed the cover. I started where the S micro SD card would be plugged in. That'd be one of the easiest spots to get to to open it. I used a razor blade and just got it started. Once I got it started, I used a guitar pick to open it the rest of the way. Uh, you just move along the edge, it'll snap out pretty easily. Once I was inside the tablet, this is a view of what I saw. This part here is your battery. It comes down, it's much larger. I only put a portion of it in so we could see better. This part here is your power cord for the battery. The first thing I did was to work that connection out just at each end here. Just wiggle it a little bit until it actually comes out. Then, this is your flat flex cable that goes to this circuit board which has your touch screen CPU on it. There's a flip right there, a flip switch on each one of those connections. If you take your fingernail and just flip it upward, it will release those cables. You can pull them out pretty easily. Once those two cables are out, I just put them back in the brown part here is a tab you can actually grab a hold of. I push the, use that to push the tab in a little bit farther. Then I flip the levers back down. I came over here. This connects this circuit board to the motherboard, which is over here. Your CPU, your memory is all under here. Same thing. I flip the little switch there. And underneath this tape, there's another one. I remove the tape and then flip that switch. This is a white cable and it has blue tabs that hold it on. Sorry about that. Once I remove the cable, I push the cable back in, flip the tab down. I did the same there. Re removed it reseated it and flipped the tab down. Once I was done reseating those, I put the power cable back in, then I carefully flipped the tablet over, not to touch any of the circuit boards, and turned it on. I checked to see if my tablet touch screen was now working. It was. I would advise if it doesn't work, try it again. You have nothing to lose at this point. Once you're done, you're sure it's working, put the cover back on. Just place it over the top and snap it back into place. There's not a lot to it. Thanks for watching my video.